Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. My partner, Kristen Oaks White, is on assignment thinking in her garden. The 2018 hurricane season started a week early this year. Subtropical storm Alberto came ashore in Florida and brought rain to some parts of Louisiana. As twilight as Neil Malasson tells us, while that doesn't necessarily mean an active season, now is the time to prepare. Subtropical Storm Alberto marked an early start to the 2018 hurricane season, which officially began June 1st. The system started in the Gulf in late May before coming ashore in Florida, making its way up north as a depression to Michigan, the first time that state has seen an organized system make it that far. Alberto was mostly a rain event, but it did kill two news people in North Carolina. This early start to the season, however, isn't necessarily a sign of things to come, according to extension climatologists. Jay Grimes. A lot of folks take that as an indication of what's coming. Don't let that bother you in and of itself. Over the last handful of seasons, we've seen several years where we had early starts, even a January hurricane just a couple of years ago. What we know is that what happens before June 1 tells us almost nothing about what's going to happen after June 1. Grimes says as far as what will happen, it's always a coin toss. It's not about how many, it's about where do they go. And the fact is the science isn't ready to handle that yet. We're never going to see that in our lifetime in a way that's really meaningful. So here's the numbers you need to know, and this is especially true for the southern parishes. There is historically a 50-50 chance of some part of the state being impacted by at least one named storm in every hurricane season. Of more immediate concern is the abnormally hot summer we're having so far in May and June, which is causing disruption for Louisiana farmers. That, according to Louisiana Ag Commissioner Mike Strain. You know, we have in, in Alexandria, for instance, 102 degrees on Saturday, 103 degrees on Sunday. Across the state, as we get to the end of this week, you're seeing record temperatures, you know, 97, 98, 101, up to 103. And so right now for the majority of our crops, you know, we have them in the ground, you know, we have over 92% you know, of our corn and our beans, 100% of our rice planted. But with that very hot weather, we're watching to see what the growth is going to be. The very hot weather, very dry weather, will slow down the growth. So we have good emergence so far. Grimes says the central and northern parts of the state are of concern, not because of the forecast, but because they're already entering the summer with a moisture deficit. In the central and northern part of the state, I, I'm a little bit worried. I'm not concerned yet, but when we start out the spring and early summer dry, it often takes uh, the whole summer and maybe they don't get the relief that they're looking for. A lot of folks don't realize that rainfall in the northern half of the state during the summer months is about half of what we get in the southern part of the state. So when they start off going into the summer on the dry side, that's often not good news. And while a tropical system could bring much needed rainfall to some parts of the state, it's something everyone agrees we'd be better off without this year. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Neil Malasson. If you remember, last year we caught three storms in Louisiana with Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Nate all bringing at least some weather here. The hurricane season usually peaks in August and September, so we still have a long way to go. To find out more about how to prepare for hurricane season, visit our website at twilatv.org.